Hi, good night, everyone. Uh, good night. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. <laughs> my name is James. Uh, I started my company called Secure Me uh, uh, two years ago. I'd like to share you the story why I started my company. And most importantly, uh, my company is very lucky NFC. to want the best uh, startup conditions and then have the chance to go to the Silicon Valley for a month. Can charge your phone. There's a couple of lessons I learned from Silicon Valley where I'd like to share with you that uh, if I had given a chance to restart my company, this is a mistake I would try to avoid. Uh, a few years ago, my younger sister, Yen, who still studied in Australia at the time, she had a minor car accident where the car hit <coughs> the tree and then she ran across this. For about half an hour, someone passes by and then uh, bring her to our hospital. Because of the reason, we lost contact with my sister for almost three days. Calling the university, calling the friend, nobody knows where she is. And uh, the image of no knowing, the, 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 the feeling of no, no, no knowing where your loved one is very scary. So with that, it's always in my mind that uh, we better to search for a solution. That I want a solution that in case of anything happened to your loved one, we want to know it and if possible we want to save it. So this is why I started my company called Secure Me. And I started in January 2011, the time where uh, given a, a support with my wife and then said go ahead and do it. The moment I submit my letters, I found that my wife is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about times to start up. Uh, so I spent a fair bit of time, six months, just to hire me the process and everything. Uh, Throughout the, the years, uh, Secure Me is very lucky we have won a couple of uh, international awards. We are the top five uh, finalists of the Harrison Education Award, where we allow users to trigger emergency easily from the watch itself without even picking our phones. And we also feature in the Venture Beat uh, Kinoko Award, uh, as our service will auto notify your loved one whenever they are in danger, even without the user interventions. I'm not going to talk a lot about the, how the uh, our service work. If you want to find out, just go to our website, SECQ. And last year, how many people know Star Malaysia? If you don't. <laughs> <laughs> very, very bad PR, isn't it? <laughs> pretty bad, pretty bad indeed. So, in the last year, there's <clears throat> uh, Star Malaysia sponsored by M that they're bringing a couple of uh, a batch of uh, Synchron Icon to Malaysia. And this is, this is a one whole year program where they shortlisted the top 100 companies to pitch, to continue, have one year mentoring and to pitch and to do a prototype, uh, to validate the go to market plan. And uh, this year in uh, April, they selected the top five companies to go to Silicon Valley for a month. So we are lucky enough to be there. This is, this is our room now, our Windows skip tree. And uh, we are lucky enough to be uh, one of the top companies to be in the Silicon Valley. This is me, Hai Chi from Picochart, and you know that? It's very, uh, uh, Asa is doing pretty well. Uh, Fast from Vouchers and uh, Brian Gunn from Bancroft, uh, being selected to be in Silicon Valley. So this one home program is organized by New Doodle, where we spend uh, two weeks in the Stanford University talking to the entrepreneurs and have a lot of mentorship as well. And every day we go to visit a staff, we go to visit Facebook, uh, Google's, couples, you name me, and a uh, couple of staff as well. And throughout that, I found out that the culture of people there is so fantastic. They're so willing to share you the super soft, how the success is going to be. And before I even go there, right? I, uh, I just write an email to hey, I'm going, I, I will be there, I will be in Silicon Valley for this time, can I meet up for half an hour for a coffee shop and everything? And most likely, surprisingly, they're willing to do that, even there is a multi million CEO and everything. So I meet up my competitors, Life360 is one of my biggest competitors in the US. They have uh, close to 20 million users, and they, they, they just uh, okay for me to chit chat and point me the way, hey, how you have, how, what have you done wrong and everything. This is so amazing. And so what I want to share is all this learning, right? I found there's a three important lessons I've learned. That if I give given a chance to restart my 
uh, company. This is the three lessons I will three errors that I will try to avoid. Number one, <laughs> getting a co-founder. This is so important. When I started my company, I don't know whether it's my luck or anything. I can't get a single co-founder at all. So imagine that you you you're just doing coding, you're doing your iPhone, you're doing Android, all by yourself, and, and now you don't know what. Sometimes you just don't know what is the possible next step because there's no one to actually say, hey, we should go for here, we should go there, and there's no one there to actually give you a feedback whether you do it right or wrong. So the, for the first year, pretty much I'm alone, uh, and because I have won a couple of uh, the competitions, all my focus is how do I make the features more cool rather than go and study what the real customer want. This is the one biggest thing that I have. Winning competition is one thing where you can get your exposure of the product, but it could be another thing that you are too focused on to participate in all the competition, you take your time, and you may deliver the features that nobody uses. it. Uh, I, have, I have these cool features that will secure me where the moment you step out of your, your house, a voice will say, hey, where are you going? Let me know everything. I spent two months of effort doing that, and then after that, nobody uses it. Uh, I think I thinking of hey uh, if uh, if a girl going to walking in a dark alley and then it's, isn't it cool that the user can simply just check the phone and then there's alarm there's video auto taking what's going on and everything. I spent about two months of research and everything and surprising only I'm I'm the one who's doing it. <laughs> so so getting a co-founder is very important, but at the same time, don't get it too soon because what I found that. Uh, uh, a lot of time, especially when I uh, won the uh, first competition, there is a lot of people approaching me, hey, I want to be a co-founder, the product is great and everything. The time when I'm des desperate for people to help me out, the time, I easily say, ah, come, 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 what? But, later stage, by the way, I already have a divorce a three co-founder. Uh, <laughs> and the common mistake of, uh, the, the common things I found is, this co-founder will not commit 100% on your venture. So rule number one, if you find someone that cannot commit 100%, that believe your, your vision, don't get it. My first co-founder before even it started, he said, hey, give me 15% of your equity share, and this is what I'm going to do for you. The second co-founder who is well known, uh, know a lot of CSO, uh, CC people, uh, top level company people say, hey, I can bring you to uh, EFM to be interviewed by Feda Liu. <laughs> or, and, hey, so can I. <laughs> and, and, then, and later I found it's so easy, I just drop the email to BFM, <laughs> then I can, I can interview. But it wasn't you, right? But, huh? <laughs> so, I asked for too much. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, getting a co is very easy, but getting a co is very important, but <clears throat> be careful. Just like uh, finding your girlfriend, finding your finding boyfriend. Be selective, and because you had to be work together with your co-founder to build a company for the next two or three years time. Right? This is the pretty mistake I have to make. I hope I will not make the same mistake again. <laughs> four times the charm. <laughs> uh, lesson two. Uh, this is this is again a breakup call when I uh, when we do visit you you demi. And don't know what is Udemy doing right there. You yeah. yeah. offer a free online course. So they do have one marketing team about five, four to five people, <coughs> just to understand where the customer comes from. And they have such an intensive engine in big house, in built by themselves. They know that if you visit the website and you revisit the website three days later, most likely you will be buying something you'll be converted to a paying customers. And they have all this built in by themselves. And they, they, they just show us all the secret sauce. They know that which Facebook post that, that uh, with the pictures and everything, how the customer come to that. And uh, whether if you have a online video courses which feature in TechCrunch, how many of the visit uh, visitors come in TechCrunch and everything. And I'm so glad. But compare that to, I'm so ashamed, not at the same time. When, you know when I first build my customer, my customer only had five you. The name, the password, all is hash by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and where they come from, that's it. But compared to them, they understand the customer more. And why why it's so important? Because during the startup, 
It's so important that you get revenue. And you want to convert every possible channel to go to that who, who visited your website. You want to convert them to your paying customers. And if I have a chance to restart my company again, I will definitely spend some, some time to build uh, in build an engine that will understand my customer a bit more better. And thirdly, this is a chip. He's the owner of a, a franchise of a hotel in Silicon Valley and in San Francisco. At the peak of his career in the year 2008, out of sudden, uh, during a business presentation, out of sudden, uh, he, his heart probably stopped already for quite some time. During the same year, one of his best friends suicide. And followed by a series of uh, bad events that the uh, result that he to search, hey, what's the beginning of the life in you? So later, about year two zero year eleven, he come up with a book called Emotion Equation, which is uh, one of the best selling book in uh, Amazon as well. So throughout that, he's sharing a one uh, one of the important lessons to me. Uh, what is the secret formula of happiness? Anyone want to know? Okay, the sequence of happiness is that is one thing what you have divided by, divided by having what you want. You get it? One thing what you have divided by having what you want. So the meaning is that all the while during my uh, uh, journey as a uh, South founder, most of the time I'm not happy at all. I constantly worry about my finance. I constantly there's a lot of uh, pressure for my family and everything. So all the way I thought, right, in order to be happy, I have to make sure my company is success. But this is so wrong already. The real formula is to be sus you need to be happy before you can be success. And to success, just to appreciate what you have. You have a family, you have a daughter to smile with you. you. Once you have that energy pump into you already, that is so important that can be, make your life so easy to carry on, right? Any things that... Uh, so this is one of the very important lessons that I learned. Uh, throughout the past two years, I'm not so happy. Then now I know why my company is not doing so well. <laughs> but it's a, it's a totally wake up call for me. I need to be happy first before security can process. And thank you. Uh, give it up for James. And uh